Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have another unboxing for you. You're probably thinking, creepy. <laughs> Bear just opened the door. And you're probably thinking, but we just watched all the June unboxings in the last video and that is true. But this one happens to be a seasonal box and I actually have a couple seasonal boxes that arrived um, a couple weeks ago, I think. I just haven't had a chance to go to my P.O. box to get it. Um, and this box, actually, they sent it to my old address, and then they had to send me a new one because we didn't move. Um, so I did, I did appreciate that they actually like went ahead and resent it. Um, and the box I'm talking about is the Beautycon box. And this is a seasonal box, like I mentioned. This is the summer box. And what's really cool is that this one was actually curated by Candy. Johnson. Um, the last box was curated by Graveyard Girl and if you guys want to see what was in that box I will post the link to that unboxing down below. Um, and I think it's really fun because Beautycon has like YouTubers like curate the boxes and it's really interesting to see the products that are inside because you can kind of get a feel for the person who actually curated it which is really interesting. And like I said this box was curated by Candy Johnson so I'm really excited to get inside of this box because she is one of my favorites. So when you open the box it looks like this and inside we have a little portrait of candy which is really cute um, but this box is $29 every three months um, and I actually have a coupon code that I will post in the description box below that will save you $5 off your box um, so I'm going to take the little cover off and this is so pretty I love just the way that they package their boxes it just looks so neat like it has this like plastic like cellophane but inside there's also um, this tissue paper and I just think it looks really really pretty and then you open it up it looks like this so I believe that they said that this is probably like the most value that they put into a box yet so I'm actually really excited to see what we have inside so I'm going to start with just the stuff that's on top um, so the first thing in here is a makeup brush and this one is from cover FX and this is a dual ended contour brush and the bristles are actually really soft it almost looks like a regular like foundation like paddle brush but it is a lot fluffier uh, and like I said the brushes or the bristles are very very soft and it has on the other end of it like a smaller more tapered brush which is going to be great for getting more like detailed areas so I think this is going to be actually a really good one for contouring because it's pretty thin as you can see but it still has a little bit of fluff to kind of blend out and it's not going to be like super harsh or anything like that and I feel like with the bristles I think they're synthetic it would be great for like cream products as well as powder so that is really cool I'm excited about that. So I'm just going to get the big guy out of the way here. There is a full size hair product in here from Redken. This is their Fashion Waves 07. This is their sea salt spray. And to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of sea salt sprays because they just feel really sticky in the hair. So I'm really hoping that this one is a little bit better. I will still give it a try. Um, let's give it a sniff. It smells really nice actually. It doesn't have like a super strong scent. It does almost have like kind of like an ocean kind of clean type scent to it, which is nice. Um, but yeah, this is a big guy. This is eight and a half fluid ounces, definitely full size. So really cool. And you know, summer is upon us. It is the season of beachy waves. So that'll be a fun thing to play with. Um, the next thing in here is another full size item. This is from Neutrogena. This is their ultra light cleansing oil. And I have tried a couple of cleansing oils in the past. They're not my favorite. I feel like they kind of get messy, but they are great for getting like really stubborn makeup off waterproof makeup. I try to use them only when I'm going to step into the shower right after, just because like I said, I find that it just gets really messy when I use it. But um, I haven't tried the Neutrogena one yet, and I actually haven't tried one from the drugstore yet. So I'm excited to see how this works and how this compares to some of the other ones that I've tried. So there's like tons of full-size products in this box, which is really awesome. Another product from the drugstore, this is from Garnier, and I actually do really like Garnier like skincare products. I'm currently using their like micellar like cleansing waters, and I do really like them, and I've used other products from them in the past, like moisturizers and stuff like that. Um, this is their Clearly Brighter Sun screen broad spectrum spf 15 this is their brightening and smoothing daily moisturizer and it's oil free um so this is cool i love when moisturizers have an spf in them especially in the summertime it's kind of like although it's only like a 15 but um it's still better than nothing and actually i use a cc cream that has spf 50 in it um so it's not really a huge concern of mine but um if i'm going to use a sunscreen especially during the day i do prefer it to have um 
Did I say sunscreen? If I do use a moisturizer during the day, I do prefer it to have an SPF in it. Um, and like I said, this is full size. Let's give it a smell. I actually really like the way like their their moisturizer smell. And this one smells really good too. Almost has like a really light kind of citrusy type scent to it, which I, I really do like. It says that it's designed with our antioxidant complex of vitamin C and E, pine bark essence, and gentle exfoliating lipo hydroxyl acid which is good i love when there's like acids in my moisturizers that do exfoliation i think that that is fantastic so i'm actually really excited about this um it's supposed to be a non-greasy formula um it turns rough dull skin into smooth polished looking skin with a more radiant even tone so definitely something i would be interested in trying so i'm glad that that's in there um another skincare product is from Benzac Acne Solutions. I've never heard of this brand before, but this is their blemish clearing hydrator. So I wonder if this is a moisture, like an all over moisturizer, and it happens to have salicylic acid in here. It has 0.5% salicylic acid. It says with calming and soothing East Indian sandalwood oil. Um, the next thing in here is a little sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. So I'm actually excited about this. I love when I get waterproof mascaras in these boxes because a lot of you know I only wear waterproof mascara because my eyelashes are super picky. Um, so I'm excited about this. I actually have the full size of this and I'm currently using it now. I do like it except I feel like it dries out pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if I'd go out and buy it just because I'm a drugstore mascara girl because you know I change out my mascara pretty frequently and so to spend like 20 plus dollars on mascara kind of like I don't want to do it so I love when I get little samples like these especially if they're waterproof and this is one that I do actually like so I'm excited to have another like little mini guy of it and then next we have from NYX this is their ombre lip duo oh this looks like a lot of fun okay the color I have is peaches and cream and I think everybody might have gotten the same color but let me know if you got a different one um but yeah this is their ombre lip duo let's open it up so it looks like this it's really pretty I feel like this like orange kind of ombre is perfect for like the summer months and I don't have a lot of orange lip products so this is going to be fun so this is what it looks like on one side you have this kind of like bright like um lighter orange color a little bit thicker of a pencil and on this side you have a thinner pencil this one's more of like a corally pink shade and you're supposed to be able to use them together to create like an ombre lip which I think will be really fun I think these colors will go really nicely together I don't know how well it will look on me but I will give it a try it looks like a lot of fun the next product in here looks really interesting it is from Smashbox so this is probably a higher priced um, product in here as well this is their brow tech shaping powder and and actually Smashbox was the first like brand of brow products I ever used back in like middle school and high school so it holds a special place in my heart like I know them for their brow product like, their brow tech is the product that I like really started using um, and I really enjoyed and I haven't used it in a really long time so I'm excited to give this a try because I believe this is pretty new um, or at least I haven't seen it's new to me um, but this is their brow tech shaping powder in the shade taupe which is like a kind of a universal type shade um, and it looks like this it looks like it's almost like in a liquid eyeliner type container it does have like a pointed like felt tip applicator to it um, which is interesting because it is a loose powder and you can hear you can kind of like you have to shake it up um, but I don't know how well this is going to work to be honest with you. Like I said, I like Smashbox, like eyebrow products, but this looks like it's going to be messy. Yeah, and as I'm swatching it, there's just fallout everywhere. So I don't know if this was like the best way to package this, but, um, it seems like it'll be a really nice color. It's kind of like that ashy, like cool tone color that I prefer on my brows. But like I said, just just the way of like applying it seems really really messy so I honestly don't know how well this will work but I am excited to give it a try the next thing in here is a NYX jumbo eye pencil in the shade 630 cashmere see now I have like eyebrow dust all over everything um, but this looks like a really pretty color it looks like a kind of a very light kind of peachy gold color which is really nice probably like for all over the lid you could probably use it as like a highlighter let's give it a swatch the only thing i don't like about nyx jumbo eye pencils is that you actually have to sharpen them with a real sharpener Ooh, that's a really pretty color though that is so pretty yeah that is really nice i'm really excited to use this like as an eyeshadow base or whatever because it's a really pretty color 
So I'm super excited about that. But yeah, the only thing I don't like is that you do have to sharpen it. I wish it was one of those like twist up ones. That would make it a lot better in my opinion. Um, the next thing in here is from VersaSpot. And I think I might have gotten a sample of this in a Beauty Box 5. In fact, I think I, I did. This is their Face Moisturizing Gradual Tanner. And if I do have a sample of this already, it'll be good because then I'll be able to try it for a little bit longer and see how I really feel about it. But this one is just a little sample. And then I have two samples in here from LA Fresh. Um, this one is their Nail Polish Remover Acetone Free. And this one is their Instant Cooling Body Soother. Um, and I think I have tried this one before and it's it's alright. I never tried the Nail Polish Remover Wipe, so hopefully this is good because it's supposed to be acetone free. And these are nice to just throw in your purse because you never know when like you just want to remove your nail polish. Maybe your nail polish ends up chipping really badly and you'd rather have nothing on your nails. This is nice to kind of have in your purse for those moments. And this one's supposed to be fresh Tuscan orange scent, so that'll be exciting. And the final thing in here is from the Edit by Seventeen. It's a little card, um, and I believe it's just a discount code. Yeah, so there's a little kind of like gift card in here, and there is a code to save 15% off plus free shipping on your first order. So I'll have to see what that's about. I've never heard of this website before, but that is in there. So overall, I think this was a really great box. I think Candy did an awesome job curating it. I love the variety in here. We have skincare, hair care, actual makeup. We have even like a makeup tool in here as, as well as some other fun stuff. Um, so I definitely think you're getting your your bang for your buck. It's $29 for the box um, and I believe you can get it up until the end of the season I think as long as they don't run out um, and like I said I have a $5 off code that I will link down below if you guys want to take advantage of that but we actually got quite a bit of stuff in here 11 products um, 12 if you count the like the 17 promo card and then of course we got the little portrait of candy as well so I'm really excited about it because the majority of the products in here I'm actually looking forward to really trying and using myself and they're all new to me except for the better than sex waterproof mascara which I am currently using and I actually do really like so I'm happy to have another one of those so yeah let me know if you guys are subscribed to the beauty con box if you've gotten yours already what your favorite item is if you're planning on getting it what item you're most excited to try out um, but yeah thank you so so much for watching and thank you to BeautyCon for sending me this box actually sending it to me twice because the first box went to my old address so the people who live there now are probably enjoying the box for themselves but yeah thank you so much for watching I will talk to you guys in my next video bye